the tragic death of 10 elephants at the Bandhavgar reserve. And this of course, uh, after they you know, reportedly consumed fungus infested crops. Now some action has been taken um, with the reserve cracking the whip. In fact, the, the director has been uh, suspended as well. Uh, but is this enough? That's a big question. Let me go across to my colleague Anurag Dwari. But before that, let's quickly listen into what the Chief Minister had to say. Shasan Napuri Gambirta ke saath isme apne van mantri Sri Mandili Pahirwar ji aur varishtha dekariyo ko bheja tha. Unse prarambhik jo report prapt hui hai, usme abhi tak ki jankari mein koi alag se kitnaasak ya koi aisi ghatna जिसमें कोई दूसरा पक्ष इन्वॉल्व हो अभी तक तो नहीं आई है लेकिन पोस्टमार्टम की रिपोर्ट अब अभी दो तीन दिन में आना बाकी है इतनी बड़ी घटना होने के बावजूद भी फील्ड डायरेक्टर छुट्टी से वापस से ना आना उसकी लापरवाही मानी गई इसलिए फील्ड डायरेक्टर को हमने सस्पेंड किया है साथ ही साथ प्रभारी एस फतेह सिंह नेनामा को भी इस लापरवाही में सस्पेंड किया है so, of course, the director has been accused of not returning from leave and also keeping his phone switched off. But this points to the larger systemic failure as far as the reserve is concerned. I mean, Mandavgarh Reserve is certainly one of the most prominent reserves as far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned. And 10 elephants dying, very, very tragic there. And there are, remember, two probe committees that have been formed. One, of course, by the state and also the central government, which is now looking at it. All angles are being examined. Uh, there are very sketchy details that are available as far as these elephant deaths are concerned. The preliminary report said that, uh, you know, they had consumed fungus infested crops, which is why they uh, died. But that is not uh, clear yet. Uh, Ten elephants, remember, had died. Uh, and it's also a grim reminder of what happened uh, to the cheetahs who were got to uh, India as well. But I'm, I believe Anurag Dwari is now live with us, our senior colleague. Anurag, so absolutely tragic there. And now some action has been taken. The director has been accused of keeping his phone switched off, not returning from leave. But this certainly points to larger systemic failures as far as the reserve is concerned. And also perhaps to the fact that there was no emergency response, uh, you know, when that call must have been made. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Vedant, uh, Gaurav Chaudhary, he's an IFS officer of 2010 batch. He was on leave and the officials have said that they tried calling him, they tried contacting him, but he never responded back. And is in absence, ACF in charge was Fateh Singh Nanama. He's an SDO and uh, he assigned everything to his junior, so, uh, junior officers. This is what uh, the government has, uh, you know, said. Uh, and they suspended both these officers. But I'll tell you, uh, in 2022, uh, there was a suspicious uh, death of an elephant there in Bandhavgar Tiger Reserve. And same Mr. Fateh Singh Nanama was the investigating officer. And uh, for over a month, a range officer and two forest guards, uh, you know, uh, after finding this, they had the carcass of that elephant burnt. And they, were, they, they never informed the senior officials. After a year, they were suspended. And this has also happened in the same Bandhavgar Tiger Reserve. See, Bandhavgar Tiger Reserve, uh, you know, formed a natural habitat of elephants. They move from uh, Palamu in Jharkhand to Chhattisgarh and then to Bandhavgarh Tiger Reserve. And if I can just tell you what has happened now, the Chief Minister, I will, uh, after uh, you know, chairing a high-level committee, has said that uh, uh, you know, a state-level elephant task force will be formed and uh, strict measures will be taken and uh, uh, elephant friends will be appointed in uh, Bandhavgarh Tiger Reserve. And uh, finally, the solar fencing will be there to protect the crops and to ensure that uh, there should be no conflict between humans and elephants right. there.